Hi, I'm Tom Seidenberger, Acting Superintendent of the Centennial School District. I'm here today to give you updated information on the opening of school in September. Last week, I mentioned that the district is enhancing its website. We now have a special center, resource center, for school opening news. Today, I'm pleased to tell you that we've added three new reports to our bank of information. First one is a complete report from Johns Hopkins University regarding all state plans for the opening of schools. So in essence, you can go in and see what Pennsylvania is doing, compare that to California, Georgia, Mississippi, so forth and so on. Very interesting, interactive map, by the way. The second new document are school opening guidelines from the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. And again, if you're interested, what's going on at the federal level and how those recommendations could impact us here in Pennsylvania, my advice is read through those guidelines. They're really informative. and I think you'll get a, a feel for how they're connected to my next item, which is the enhanced guidelines from the Pennsylvania Department of Health. Last week, we got a revised set of guidelines. And I must tell you that those guidelines were more specific, more closely written, and giving us better and more in-depth guidance as to how we're going to handle health and safety related issues uh, relative to school opening. We're getting a lot of questions about facial coverings for students. My advice is go in and look at that document. There's a special section on students and face coverings. Please read it and understand that if you feel you may have a need for your child not to wear a mask, there are procedures that you can follow uh, to make that happen. Next up is a parent survey that we're releasing today, July 21st. Again, it's gonna be a short turnaround, July 24th. But we're gonna ask parents for input and it's critical that you offer us opinion. Our committees, as I noted last week, have been working very hard on preparing scenarios for the opening of school. We now are in a position to give you more meat, so to speak, about our scenarios. And let me review what those scenarios are. First, would be a full in-person return to school. Basically, school goes on just like it would any other year with enhanced safety and health regulations. Scenario two is a blended approach. Simply put, Students come to school two days a week, get online instruction the other three. Uh, we would be using Google Classrooms as our platform in grades K through five, and our platform in grades six through 12 would be Canvas. Again, all instruction by certified Centennial School District personnel. We think this is an opportunity for smaller class sizes. We would be able to match the state guidelines and the CT guidelines of six feet for social distancing. Third, an opportunity for parents to take a full virtual uh, education. All students learn at home remotely. Um, curriculum taught by certified district staff uh, with the provision that this virtual program would guide students back into preparation for back to full in-person learning in their home schools. And today, I'm pleased to announce that there would be a scenario four. And let me explain what that is. It's the Centennial Virtual Learning Academy. What does that mean? Well, it's, it's an independent program affiliated with Centennial School District totally virtual, but here's the good news. Your students stay, and your family stays, members of the Centennial Education family. Why is that important? Because if you're a high school student, that means you're eligible for a William Tennant diploma. You're on our rolls. You would be available for guidance support. You would get your needed devices and textbooks with this program. The only thing we're asking you to understand is that if you would go with this program, 
it would be a one semester commitment for high school and middle school students and a tri-semester commitment for elementary students. But I'm also pleased today to tell you that we've enhanced the brochure for this program. You'll be able to access it on our district website. Please take a look at it, study it, and honestly, we think it's a great alternative if you have concerns about returning um, to a brick and mortar school district. Again, that would be our fourth scenario, the Centennial Virtual Learning Academy, an option for you. Again, all this would be included in our parent survey. We're also going to ask you some questions about transportation. The results that we, we get from your input will be very critical in planning uh, what we're going to discuss with our Board of Education next Tuesday. Next Tuesday we have a scheduled board meeting where, where we will be introducing our health and safety plan and updating the board on all four scenarios and at some point giving them a status report of what we may be thinking uh, on July 28th. We will be posting that full district health and safety plan either on Monday or Tuesday on our website, but we'll send out an e-alert for you. Finally, thank you for your patience and your cooperation. As I noted last week, these are trying and turbulent times. School districts throughout the Commonwealth are planning. They're planning for a solution that may not please everyone. But trust me when I tell you that there are lots of variables that we're studying. We know one thing, our schools will be safe, they will be clean, and they will be secure, no matter what option parents choose and what the board ultimately endorses uh, going forward. So again, look for that parent survey. Please take the time to complete it. Give us the necessary input look at those four scenarios. Hopefully you can find one that would suit you and your family at this moment in time and give us the needed feedback. Again, thank you very much for your cooperation and I'll be talking to you next week. Again, this is Tom Seidenberger thanking you for your support and cooperation.